Let's go to the other one so you guys can see it normally. Boom! That's better. Got Mike in the chat room. Is Level Up Show Mike? Dean has great news tonight. I, I don't know if you guys know. We can talk about it actually. He said we can talk about it. Cell five five. Welcome, Level Uppers, to another episode of Level Up Direct. This is episode 91, technically, because we skip a lot of weeks now doing Level Up Hangout, and it only does PlayStation and more. But this is episode 91. Level Up Direct is all about talking with you guys through Skype. The Skype lines will open in just a moment. You guys can call in. We can talk all things gaming-related. But the Level Up Network is full of gaming talk shows and game streams on all week long. Uh, so make sure to follow the show at any point if you do like what we're doing here at twitch.tv slash the level up show. If you're watching live from PlayStation, make sure to go to the level up show and follow us on the new PS4 Twitch app. And if you are watching on the PS4 Twitch app right now or on your phone or on the PC, just hit that follow button if you like what we're doing. It's that easy. Your name will pop up on the TV and I will definitely shout you out. We're also on Twitter at the level up network, level spelled LVL. Tweet at us with hashtag on the spot if you want to be a featured question either on Sunday show or on our 24 hour marathon for extra life raising money for children's miracle network hospitals throughout the united states that is the banner over here or if you're watching on the ps4 app it'll scroll along the top extralife.org slash participants slash the level up network go to that link click support me donate whatever you have the means to because it all counts towards that goal of five thousand dollars doesn't matter if it's one dollar or five thousand dollars doesn't matter what you donate every little bit counts we appreciate it all we're also on youtube at the level up show level spelled lvl and uh, what else we got? We got Facebook, we got Patreon if you want to best support the network, and we got Spreadshirt if you want t-shirts, muscle shirts, hoodies with level up, uh, you know, logos on it and stuff like that. And more, of course. We got Puss in the Room, we got Strife Girl, Nine Fox, TX Puck, Bulldog Brad, and more. Share the show, guys. We have 13 people right now. I know this is going to be a light show tonight because uh, we're kind of starting this thing now where we're going to be not the mainstream on live from PlayStation being the level up show. So I'm sure a lot of people won't know where we are tonight. They're going to be confused. So it's up to you guys to share the show, try and get everybody in here on the PS4 Twitch app or on PC or on a phone, wherever, wherever necessary. TX Puck posts on the Twitch team. And we got Callie in the room. Welcome, Callie. Kind sir. We're going to do a lot of, a uh, lot of trailers, video games and movies tonight. And then of course we're going to take some calls. I think we're just going to get right into the first trailer of the night right now. So, uh, yeah, let's do it to it guys. Thank you for joining me. Glad to have you all 20 of you. So you must be sharing. Thank you for sharing the show guys. First trailer of the night. Check it out. My name's Balthus. And I am your spirit mentor. Okay, cool. Welcome, Belfus. In this arena, our ability to work as a team no buzz. will be tested. I was not a fan Failure when I tried out League of Legends. Not a fan at all. But you knew that. I shall, of course, lead the team. But well, you don't get too many console spirit, MOBAs. You will probably have to take the hits. Ooh. You'll feel that in the morning. More than your guide, I will be your companion, your helper. For only I know the incantations to activate the ancient and arcane contraptions of the arena. Kelly says life is great. We're glad to hear like it, man. This. Or this. Oh, next. Next. Um. Next. To those watching. We are streaming at 5,000 kilobytes per second or 5 megabits. That means some of you won't be able to handle the highest quality. If it's stuttering, if it's not working for you, lower the quality of your stream to high or medium. And if you're watching from the PS4 Twitch app, it should automatically adjust. Snap City, welcome. Or at least an honorable death. Forced. No idea what this is, but it's a MOBA. Guys in the MOBAs? I'm not. Did not at all enjoy League of Legends. Not my kind of thing. All right, so let's open up the Skype lines here. Call in on in. Oh, call in on Skype, I should say. At the level up show spelled exactly how it sounds. No spaces. There you go. 
And we can talk all things gaming related. What did I just do? I just put you guys on the commercial. Sorry about that, guys. I meant to put you on that one. Comments. There you go. Stri Strife Girls stream froze. I'll try to refresh. Twitch was giving me issues earlier. So there's a possibility Twitch is having problems tonight. Derek, that's always what I think of when I think of MOBAs. I agree, you effing nerds. Greg Miller. They like to get on MOBAs over there. Kind of funny. Yeah, Strife Girl, you might want to lower your, your stream quality to like medium or maybe high at the most. Ah, that could do it as well, Strife. Or set it to audio, auto as well. Yeah, plus, correct. You are correct. Feel free to call in right now, guys, on Skype at the Level Up Show. Spell it exactly how it sounds. No spaces. We talk all things gaming related. Or just leave me some comments, feedback in the chat room. We can talk about anything you want. Going to try on the phone. Sounds good, Strife Girl. So what's going on tonight, guys? What, what kind of news do you want to talk about? What is some exciting stuff for you in the gaming world? This is great. I can finally see the trailers that you show, says My Dark Passenger. That's the idea, man. We've been waiting a long time for this so you guys could actually see the trailers and the higher quality and the audio quality. It's all better here on PC or on the PS4 Twitch app, where we're at right now. Strife Girl says it's working now, I think. So that's good. Go yell at them. Turn their device to airplane mode. Yell, I'm watching the guy that makes the show. That is true, Plus, I, I, plus you are such a, a support system for me. I appreciate it. Really, I do. Holy crap, Drew, your walls are blue. They are. The walls are blue. The walls are blue. All right, let's take this call from Brad. Bradley, hello. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. You are the first call on the PS4 Twitch app. Yeah, PS4. Yeah, you're like an angel with a halo around your head right now. Uh, so what's going on, man? What do you want to talk about tonight? Uh, Back to the Future Day. And back to gaming. But yes, it's... yes. Uh, are you a Back to the Future fan, Bradley? I love him. I love him. Which is your favorite in the series? I assume the first one, right? I like second. Well, you're wrong. Well, I, 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 I like movies on this, but... I, Your I, opinion is wrong, Bradley. That's all there is to it. I don't care it. what you think. No, they're, they're both good. The third one's the only one that's not very good. Yeah, the third one was Satan. The first and second one are both good. I, I, I agree with you there. The second one is what everybody's going nuts over, of course, because today is October 21st. This is the day that Marty traveled to the future, and everybody's discussing, you know how we fare in comparison to Robert Zemeckis' vision of 2015. Where they had a, a, a hoverboards and flying cars and microwave pizzas that are just small and massive. There are some similarities, though. They kind of got the, the tablets correct and some of the fingerprints, you know, technology. And even the split screen on the TV were kind of, kind of moving towards that a little bit with multitasking. And Nike are making this... Uh, they've made the sneakers... Uh, the laceable sneakers. Uh huh. Them, but they come out, it's coming out next year. So. See, I thought Nike already did that, like in 2011 or something like that, and it was just like a big flop. I think they, were, they, they but they, I looked on Twitter and they show um, Michael J. Fox using them, and basically there's like buttons everywhere, and you got to click the buttons and stuff like that. And that's what I, I, Derek said, Brad, where the hell are the hoverboards? That seems to be what most people focus on is the hoverboards. I'm not quite sure why that's the thing that everybody gets held up on. We have hoverboards in like a, a tight environment. Basically, you have to have a manufactured environment with mag lift and all this kind of stuff. You know, you have to have a floor that's structured out of a certain material and then the hoverboard can kind of work on it is what I've read at least. I watched this YouTube video, and they managed to not make one, but they've gotten work in a prototype. It's basically, this guy was like using a normal skateboard, but um, it uses, as I was saying I think last time, compressed air that just like goes on the floor and just like lifts it up. So you can just put your body on it, and then you can ride it like, and it's hovering. That's cool. I watched it on, it's like a little YouTube video. I don't know why 30 years ago anybody thought that we would have flying cars. Flying cars don't make any sense. 
you would have to completely redo the traffic system to make cars work, <laughs> flying cars work. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know, you have to have like flat, like floating like things. Yeah, you still have traffic to have lights. lanes, and you still have to have traffic lights. Technically, the the be the better part is that you have verticality, right? So you could have roads, if you want to call them that, air roads going higher and higher and higher, so that there's never really traffic jams because people can always just go up a level, supposedly, right? And then was, if then the was... if level one gets gets you know traffic jam go up to like level 10 or level 30 because it's probably limitless that, uh in that, our that happened in doctor who atmosphere. it didn't work out too well didn't work out so well in doctor who it didn't i don't know I, I just in my mind being as somebody who has been a part of road work and and traffic engineering and all that kind of stuff it's it's not a simple thing and to completely redo it all because you're not going to be able to get rid of traffic down here you're, you're, that's going to stay for a long time as this gradual transition happens from ground cars to air cars and over that course of the, the probably a hundred years it would take to finally transition fully to only cars in the air it would just it would be such an undertaking it would be unbelievable plus it would cost a lot of money if they did ever make them yeah I think the thing that is more likely to happen first is like iRobot with the cars that drive themselves because we're already kind of on our way there to that, right? You got uh, you got the Google car and stuff like that that are bridging that gap that. towards iRobot. Never heard of the Google car. You never heard of the Google car where they, they do the competition where the car drives itself through mm -hmm. an entire course, but nobody's controlling it. They have to put you know an AI of sorts into this car so that it reacts to certain environments and certain obstacles so that it can get through this course. And uh, and a lot of cars try it out, and it's a competition. I've never no, I've never seen that. I've seen a dog drive a car, but not a, not a car, not an AI driving the car. The final part of this we need to talk about is who got Pepsi uh, Perfect. <laughs> did you, Brad? You didn't get Pepsi Perfect, did you? No, literally, I'm not joking. They didn't even release a date of it. They released it hours earlier before it was even announced. See, I, I see a lot of people saying that, but then at the same time, I've seen tweets from Pepsi themselves and from other people saying they released exactly when they said they would. Because I've seen a lot of tweets saying, Pepsi, you're, you, you're not, you're, um, you're, you're, you pissed me off, you set it early and stuff like that, and like, I'm like, oh, damn. They should release more, I think. I think, and I know it's limited edition, but they should release a little bit more. A bit more? I reckon. Not, not the 6,500. I'm sure a lot of you saw that Mike got one. But how did he get one? He wasn't even just as uh, Mike McFly, he told me. Uh, he put hashtag NYCC, so I, I'm assuming he got it at New York Comic Con or something. I have no idea. Or got it through New York Comic Con or he signed up for it. I, I don't know how he Is got it? it. If he's in the chat room, hopefully he can answer, answer that question. Yeah, answer it. I need to know. I need to know. I, I was on eBay, and they were going for like £100 just for the bottle. Yeah, I'm not like, surprised at all. Not at all. Bloody hell, man. It's crazy. All right, Brad. Well, I'm going to move on, man. But thank you for being the first call of the night. The first call on the new PS4 Twitch app. And the first of any. <sighs> yeah. All right, man. See you later. Level up. Level up. Guys, if you want the high-quality stream... And you're watching on the PS4 right now. We only got two people, which probably means that you guys are jumping over to the PS4 Twitch app. Good job. But the two people watching right now, stop watching live from PlayStation. You're doing it wrong. This is really low quality, bad audio quality. All that. It sucks. Go on the PlayStation Store. There's now a dedicated PS4 Twitch app. Download it. Search the Level Up Show. Follow us. Watch in high quality video audio. And also, you can get like full screen trailers and stuff like that. We're doing cool stuff over there. So please do that. Let's see, what do we got in the chat here? Pepsi said they would release October 21st. They did on October 21st. Just Asia is ahead of us, so they got it first. Uh, Puss says he, uh, Mike got it from Comic-Con. That's what I thought. Live from PlayStation, is that still a thing? Wasn't that PS2 thing? I think you're thinking of, uh, what was that? The PS3 thing. Folding with PlayStation, is that what you're thinking of? <laughs> Folding with PlayStation was an interesting thing. Everybody was figuring out how to cure cancer through the PS3. Folding proteins. Nightmare348, welcome. And also in a cage, welcome. Guys, stop watching on live from PlayStation. Go download the PS4 Twitch app off the PlayStation Store. Watch us there. Search for the Level Up Show. It's a much higher quality stream. All right, let's check out the second trailer of the night here, guys. We're moving on to a movie trailer now. We've had a number of potential 
potential manners come Is that Maggie from The Walking Dead? Do you think you can manage? Of course. I'm Malcolm. Hi. It is. I'm it's Chris Maggie. Boy. Well, Chris Ree, man. <laughs> Lead the way. Allow me to introduce Mr. Hilter. And this... Mr. Yoda? Son, oh, well, okay. <laughs> this took a turn. Music gives him so much joy. Brahms is not like other children. It is very important that you follow these rules. Be good to him and he'll be good to you. This is creepy. No offense, Brahms, but you got kind of creepy. <laughs> they made the doll perfectly creepy. Is this Gremlins? Is he not allowed to be fed after midnight? Oh shit, who saw that coming? Ross. You okay? I needed someone else to see it. See what? If you leave him alone, they don't give you a sign. This is like some kind of magic trick, right? It's not a trick. Tell me about the real Brahms. He was downright strange. A little girl from town used to come out here to play with Brahms. They found her body in the woods. By the time the police arrived, the place was up in flames. Brahms didn't make it out. Brahms. The new horror icons, Brahms. <laughs> He's rocking in a chair. <laughs> it's not safe in this house. You don't understand what's happening. Oh, he's crying. He's alive. So it's like Chucky, but we've never seen this freaking thing move yet. Is he gonna move? All right, I need a little bit more than that. Be good to him, won't you? Not enough to satiate my horror desires there. Maggie, you could have done better. What'd you guys think of that? Let me see the chat room here. Yes, it's Maggie, says TX Buck. Turn it off, turn it off. That wasn't a perfect circle. Sea bears will surely come now. They are all doomed. Maggie being in it is about the only part of that trailer that interests me. Thing is, I usually don't watch these trailers before I play them because I want to react to them live. And my live reaction to that is no, not interested. Must see, says Strife Girl. Never mind, I'm wrong. Creepy, says Tyler. Got 20 people watching on, hopefully, the PS4 Twitch app. Ah, Dustin, where are you, what are you doing, man? You're in the wrong spot. Not to the network, Puss. We're not on the network. We're still on the Level Up show. We actually switched it around. We got network streaming the PS4, and we got the show streaming on PC, and you can watch that high-quality stream on the new PS4 Twitch app. So go to the PS4 Twitch app, Dustin. You're doing it wrong, man. Lucifer Belmont, I can't get the Twitch app to work on my PS4 sad face. That sucks, Lucifer. Well, you can still watch us here, man. Or you can watch us on PC, or you can watch us on your phone. We're still on, on PS4 until, uh, for a few weeks. We'll, we'll definitely stay here for a few weeks just to make sure the transition is smooth. Because Europe, I don't even think, has the Twitch app yet. It's only in the Americas. Let's open up the Skype lines here. Hate dolls says Ryan 6T. I hate dolls too, but that one was more comical to me than than scary. You better at least see a butt in that shower scene with Maggie. Just saying, says Puss. And Maggie's a good looking woman, I'll admit. She's usually pretty dirty on The Walking Dead, but we can we can see, see through that dirt and see that she's an attractive woman. Or you can just go online and check out like an interview with her on Conan and see that she's very attractive. Stupid Twitch app says Dustin. Why would you say that, Dustin? It's so much better. Got Bryce calling in. Let's take this call from Bryce. Bryce! Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, man? Good. It's nice to hear from you. So. So. What about Uncharted 4? What about Uncharted 4, man? What do you want to talk about with Uncharted 4? Lead the way. What do you do? You think that 
you will buy it day one. Yes, 100%. I will pre-order that game probably pretty soon. I have, I'm surprised I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I will pre-order that game. Okay. Do you think it'll come out on the release date they say right now? There's been a lot of talk of this lately because Nolan North has just finished motion capture, which is leading some people to believe that it's not as far along as we originally thought. I would be surprised, though, if it was delayed again. One delay from Naughty Dog is already uh, obscure and kind of uncommon for them. They, they don't like to delay games, but they will if necessary. So if, the, if they need to, they will delay it again. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I, I have a lot of faith in Naughty Dog, and I have high hopes in them. You know, I, I feel like they're the type of studio that when they announce a delay, they put the, the thought into what's involved, right? And, and they know for sure, okay, we can make this date, so let's delay it to here. See, what I think is that I think they just did it so that they could just do, like, maybe there's, like, a couple hiccups or something. I think that's all that is. What hiccups, exactly? Like, maybe it wasn't, like, perfect or something. You know, something like that. that. That's the thing, is Naughty Dog is perfect. So they, they, if they have to delay this game to make it perfect, they will. The reason for the delay, according to Neil Druckmann, is that they wanted to perfect the ending. That doesn't imply to me that the game needed a ton more work. It sounds like everything's there, it's running smoothly, the demos we've seen, even though they were vertical slices, ran very well, except for that one glitch at the beginning. Uh, so I feel like the game is mostly there. They probably were just tweaking the ending when it comes to a storytelling standpoint, maybe script-wise. They want to make sure this is the right closure for Nathan Drake's Odyssey, right? So I, I think that that is why the game was delayed, not because it's buggy and they need to rework a massive mechanic or anything like that. Oh, and also, I got the Twitch app, so... You Are you watching us on the Twitch, Twitch app right now? No, I'm watching it on my computer. Okay, this you're watching on your computer. Easy. Well, how's it? Is it running okay? Skype's... Yeah. Everything seems to be running pretty smooth? It's okay. Yes. It's going to run even yes. better once we get rid of the dual streaming, uh, because that's going to affect the, the quality a little bit, and there might be a few stutters and slowdowns and stuff like that, uh, but that will actually get better. It's going to become perfectly smooth in a couple weeks. I yeah. have like watched a couple streams on the Twitch app so far, but not you guys yet, but mm. other it, people. It looks great on there. I was watching archives. That's the great thing about the Twitch app too, guys. Get the PS4 Twitch app because it has a really easy archive highlight section where you can check out all of our past shows. I just use the podcast thing, the iTunes podcast. That's all I use. Oh, do you listen to us on <laughs> that's iTunes? What I, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I'm glad to hear that. I don't know who listens to us on iTunes. I know we have like a dozen people that do. I've been trying to keep up on that, but I think it's really cool to know that you do. I, I like that. I don't normally like download them. I just like yeah. watch them that way. But You stream them, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah we are on uh, iTunes, guys. Uh, just search for the Level Up Network or the Level Up Show on iTunes and you'll find uh, Level Up Direct and Level Up Show. Power Up is on there as well. And even Level Up Hangout will be on there. It only does PlayStation will go on there and more. I was kind of the one who kind of created that too. You were the one who created what? Like, the streaming on the podcast. I told you about it. Or whatever. Yes, like, we, we, we it. did it way, way back. And it, it just, it wasn't worth the work. Said, but when you told us to try it out again, I was like, all right. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll put in the time. It actually isn't that bad, to be honest with you. I, I just, I export the Twitch video, I just open it up in my video program, save it as an audio file, and, and do a little bit of tweaking and upload it. It doesn't take me that long. It takes me like 30 minutes. That's it? Yeah, just like 30 minutes. It's not too wow. bad. This show writes itself, man. Mm. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, um, but uh, I'm, but I'm glad have, that you're doing that. I've been listening to... Um, Colin and Greg, too. With a Kind of Funny we'll and to their new PlayStation yeah. podcast? That's that's what I've been listening to. Oh, I know. I'm so happy that they're back with uh, uh, P.S. I Love You XOXO. It's, it's such a nice return to form for them after leaving Beyond. I I remember being like, I thought like everybody would like that I liked on IGN was just leaving. I'm just like, no! I know. I know the feeling, <laughs> right? Uh, Colin and Greg were one of the main reasons I watched 
or and listened and and went to IGN. Brian Altano is another one I really like on there. Uh, but everybody else, eh, they're all right. I'm not like crazy about too too many other people on IGN. So when Greg and Colin left, it was like, oh my god, what, what reason do I have to go to to IGN anymore? And I know uh, Max Schofield. I, I know a lot of people were a fan of his, but I really didn't know him that well. So he wasn't a driving force to me to, for me to stay at IGN. I don't like the Beyond anymore. It just went downhill since then. I don't want to bash IG, uh, IGN and Beyond too hard because it gets so much bashing. And I understand it's not Beyond anymore, but there's nothing wrong with it as itself. It, it's it's a fine podcast. It's just if you're going for a very PlayStation-centric podcast, which is what it should be, taking on the legacy of Beyond, it's not that. I mean, they, they talk about PlayStation, I feel like, 25% of the time. Um, and that's just not okay with me. If it's yeah. a PlayStation podcast, there should be that PlayStation enthusiasm, and and they don't really have that, unfortunately. It's just that they're not. It's just not the same personalities. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean the personalities, of course, of but more so than that, for me, I, I just feel like they they need to structure it a little bit better and uh, and try and get more PlayStation stories in there, more PlayStation centric segments, uh, and not just go off on tangents where they're not talking about PlayStation for twenty minutes. Okay, one other question. Whenever you export like the um, like file for like the podcast, do you use like the little wireless mics, or do you actually just use the PlayStation camera? Oh no, we use the mics. The okay. mics that I have, uh, the mic that I have on right now, this one is, is higher quality than what you would get on PS4. It's not like the highest quality in the world. We would like to upgrade in the future. Like this mic, I think cost us twenty bucks, so it's pretty ch pretty cheap. Even though we got yeah. four of them, so it's eighty bucks total. Um, but yeah, we, we're going to improve our mics someday in the future, and once our Patreon and, and and whatnot accumulate to a certain amount, we and still have plans to improve the show, of course. I have one last question. Sure, go ahead. What do you think about, like, what would be your, like, all-time favorite game? Like, just throw out any ideas that you wish that would be all into one game. You're saying, like, my fantasy game that hasn't been created yet? Yes. Like, create your own game. Just make any game that you wanted. I've talked about this before, and I... And we're kind of getting this already with Final Fantasy XV, but I've always kind of wanting that, that melding of two worlds. JRPGs and Western RPGs. I grew up on JRPGs, right? And Western RPGs have really become the big thing now with uh, Skyrim and, and Witcher and, and all these other ones, that Western-style RPG. And I want, like, a melding of those worlds. So I want, I want like, a Sony studio. And there's rumors of this happening, actually. I want a Sony studio to create an entirely new PlayStation-exclusive RPG. And I want it to be like Final Fantasy in that it's really melodramatic and over the top and saving the world and fighting God at the end. But I also want it to infuse the Western sensibilities as well. Things that Western RPGs have improved upon when it comes to, to RPGs. Um, and I, I, I want it to be a new IP, though. I don't want it to be anything existing. I want it to be an entirely new IP. And like Final Fantasy, I want it to change with every game, to be an entirely new character, entirely new story, so that Sony has its exclusive RPG moving forward. Like, what I'm wanting is... They haven't done this in forever. I don't think... like. Thrillville was like my game. What was it called? Thrill Thrillville. Thrillville. It was on PS2. Yeah, it was like Thrillville off the rails. It was like for PS2. And Wii. Is this like a sim <laughs> theme park type thing? Yes, it's like where you create your own theme park. I want yeah. a game like that on PS4. They need like a roller coaster tycoon. Well, they have That's roller they co need. coaster tycoon coming to PC, but I don't think it's coming to PS4, unfortunately. Yes. That's what I wish would happen. That's the one thing I want. I want something like that, and then like where you can create your own buildings, not where it's like create like pre-created ones. It's kind of like I know I'm trying to don't want to say this, but it's kind of like Tony Hawk's Build the Skate World kind of thing. Kind of like that. It's just I just want it where you can build whatever roller coaster you want, no limits at all. Not like a height limit, not anything like that. You can make it all the way to the moon if you want to. That's that's just my. That would be pretty cool. I want to comment on uh, Dustin's comment here. You said Drew, they have that coming. It's called Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to really agree with that. I'm tremendously excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. You know that, Dustin. But I, I wouldn't really. So far, I don't even know that Horizon Zero Dawn is an RPG. I don't know if it has 
you know, attri attributes and leveling up and, and the things that I know for RPGs. And also, it doesn't really have that Japanese melodramatic feel to it, that over-the-top, uh, you know, fantasy story and stuff like that. That's what I, I want in an RPG. I want it to be ridiculous. I want it to be really out there. Um, and Horizon is in that robo-dinosaur way, but not in the RPG way that I'm talking about, necessarily. Um, I'm, think I'm thinking of something different. I'm just having a hard time explaining it. I guess. But uh, back to Bra uh, Brace's point, I love all the old school um, roller coaster tycoon and even sim theme park. I love simulation games in general, so I would totally be down for that. Did you try out Thrill? I think it was called Scream Ride. Did you try out Scream Ride on Xbox One? I don't play Xbox. Okay. <laughs> Just, I don't. I haven't owned one ever. That's because that I'm is doing. what you were talking about in creating these crazy rides, and then you could test them out in first person and drive them off rails and kill all your well, you can't kill them, I don't think, but you can crash and, you know, shoot all your, uh, what are they called, customers, I guess, uh, <laughs> all around the map and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Like in Thurlville, like whenever you could have it where it launches them off and then you would just like stop and then have like a propeller kind of thing and just slowly lift them down to the ground. That's pretty much what I had on there. Mm, gotcha. And I would play it, but there's just no games on Xbox that I would like want. Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah, there's because, nothing yet for me pushing me uh, to really want an Xbox, but there might be someday. Like, Forza? I'd rather play Gran Turismo. Yeah. Just me. Yeah, there are games like Halo, Gears of War, Forza. The, none of those really push me. Uh, Quantum Break, it, it looks interesting. Inside looks really interesting. Cuphead. Uh, but they're, ju they're just not enough for me to, to want an Xbox One. I just think PlayStation has more exclusives, too. I agree. That's me personally. I, I agree with that, yeah. Uh, Dustin also said, I'm pretty sure what I've been reading with Horizon until, or Zero Dawn, that it's going to be an in-depth RPG. That's good news, but everything about the game screams Western RPG to me, not Japanese RPG. Um, so, it, none, none of that game speaks to what I was talking about and wanting a Japanese RPG with Western sensibilities. So that, that's not what I'm feeling with that game. But uh, Bryce, as always, man, Always nice to have you call in. Thank you for watching us on the high quality stream. You're awesome. Yeah, I only do if the internet's good. Only um, if the internet's good? On yes. your end? <laughs> yeah. Okay, <I> gotcha. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. Thanks for calling in. at and is not that great. <laughs> oh, bummer. Level up, man. <laughs> Level up, you know? up, 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 up. It's a good kid. I like that kid. It's cool beans going on there. All right. What do we got in the chat room here? I agree more Western RPG, but the Robo Animals is kind of Japanese Eastern style. Yeah, I guess you could say that a little bit, Dustin. I could agree with that a little bit. Dinosaurs feel very American to me, though. Dinosaurs are kind of America fuck yeah for me, for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, to Lincoln, you are watching on live from PlayStation. Everybody else is watching on the PS4 Twitch app. That's why nobody's in the room for you. Uh, so go on the PlayStation Store, get the PS4 Twitch app. Download that thing, go on there, search for the Level Up show, and you'll find the high-quality stream with all of the 20 people in the room right now. It keeps giving me, oops, something wrong happened. Sorry, we can't connect to the Twitch servers right now. Yeah, it sounds like the Twitch app is still a little bit buggy. They got to improve it. But we're on our way, guys. We're getting there. Tanner the Taco, welcome. Does my name look blue for you guys? No, it looks purple to me. Dragon Con, welcome back. It's not just robo dinosaurs, though. It's robo eagles and deer and buffalo and elephants and kind of giraffes, too, I would say. So excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. That looks like an amazing game. Really hope that makes it out next year. But I could understand if it, don't, it doesn't, and I would be okay if it doesn't, actually. I feel like there's enough coming next year to hold us over. Let's go to another trailer, guys. Back to game trailers, of course, now. No problem, Lincoln. Hope to see you over on the higher quality stream very soon. This looks interesting. My name is Teddy. Nice to meet you. Reminds me of AI, AI and artificial intelligence, right there. Very creepy. Good night, hon. Sweet dream.
What is this place? Are you guys creeped out like I am? It's kind of like Coraline meets AI meets God, so many others. Little Nemo. <laughs> Among the sleep. Well, that looks freaking creepy. Looks pretty cool though, as well. A child shouldn't have to go through this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go back to the chat. Feel free to call in, guys, on Skype at the Level Up Show, spelled exactly now how it sounds. No spaces. Stripe Girl says creepy. Dustin says, me too. If they need to take another six months, do it. That game has to be just magnificent when it comes out. Completely agree. Gorilla has so much potential. They need to realize it. I still haven't finished this. It's a great game. Are we talking about Among the Sleep? Is it already out? This looks way scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is pretty creepy, too. That's a game that should come to PS4. I would love to stream that game on PS4. That'd be cool. Skype lines are live, guys. Feel free to call in right now on Skype at the Level Up Show, spelled exactly how it sounds, no spaces. And if you're watching us on the new PS4 Twitch app, make sure to hit that follow button. Your name will pop up, and I will shout you out. Testing, texting Christing right now. Hold on one sec. Oh, we got another call from Brad. Welcome back, Bradley. I am back. Let me just take my thing out. There we go. Not in that way. You made it. Welcome. What's going on, man? That game. Among the Sleep. Is it, is it, is it only on PC? I think it's on PC, but it's also on PS4 or coming to PS4 very soon. Because, yeah, it's, I, I've seen Hate Show to Leo's play that game, and it's creepy as shit. It definitely looks creepy. I agree with you, man. Uh, not, it, not something I, I don't know if I want to play that. It's freaking scary looking. It comes to PS4. I will stream now, definitely. Tyler says I... it came out a year ago on Steam. Yeah. It's a game it's about a child's like nightmares. People have been playing it and it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. But if I, if I, if it comes to PS4, I'm going to stream it because I had some great, great reactions of me playing Slender. I, uh, and if that's like Slender, then I'm going to be, bleh. Yeah, right? So Dustin I, I, says, I, look at that hair, Brad. You need a haircut, bro. I know. I, this plus my, my, my Do you cut your own hair, Brad? No, I did once, so. though. Do you shave your mustache? But sometimes. I, I just go... Yeah, have, you, have you ever considered growing, like, a full goatee or beard instead of just a mustache? I'm trying to. I'm trying to get rid of all these bits here and make it grow a bit more and then just... I, I, I want to see you with a goatee. Once I get a bit older and it, it starts... Getting in, then I will come. Uh, I'm like, I'm looking at you now, and I'm picturing you with a goatee, and I feel like you would look 15 years older immediately. <laughs> you would look so kind of a, like a mad scientist, I think. With my mustache, it's weird because you would look like Doctor Who, maybe, like a mad scientist, mad professor, Doctor Who. That's that's the vibe I think I would get from you <laughs> if you if you grew a goatee. Because with my mustache, it goes like that, but the, the middle bit's missing. There's nothing now. Mike says, shave it, shave it all, you have Greg face. <laughs> no, I'm going to grow it. It's gonna, I'm going to show you. <laughs> and Dustin goat. says, laugh my ass off at least 15. <laughs> at least 15 years you would, you would gain by growing a goatee, Bradley. What? what? What are you eating? French fries. Oh my god, you're, you're crazy. Yeah, that game... If we're going to be just four, I'm definitely going to get out. That game, though. That do do. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. I, I I'll check it out if it comes to PS4 for sure. If it does, yeah. If it does, I'll I'll probably stream it and then I'll get no views, but I'll probably just. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you acknowledge that you'll get no views. <laughs> I never do that. Well, I do. Where I have like sometimes Pux comes in and, and stuff like that, and I'm like, I don't want to be all these. I'm well, sorry, I said, Bradley. I apologize for your low I viewership. Like you, just like getting like ten people at least. <laughs> all right, all right, man. Well, we're about to move on to uh, probably the biggest trailer of the week. 
Ooh. Take a guess what it is. Mm, I don't know. All right, well, you're about to find out. Uncharted. Level up, Bradley. Level up. Are you guys ready for the biggest trailer of the week? I think some of you might know what it is. But if not, you're about to find out. In three, two, five, I mean. Who are you? I'm no one. Love that freaking BB-8, man. Guys, don't cry. Don't cry. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through this. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. Awesome voice. I will finish. Awesome music. Will How did he get the helmet though? Love the use of the love theme here. About what happened. It's true. All of it. The dark side. A Jedi. It's calling to you. Oh, goddamn. Just let it in. Oh, my God. Jesus, GM Chrysler. My God. Does that look good? Jesus. That freaking last scene there. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I can handle it, guys. It's too much. Oh man, I'm so freaking excited. I just want to—I just want to go into a cryogenic sleep. Glock, welcome to the show, man. Lincoln says I think Star Wars is gonna blow some records. It already has blown records. It's unbelievable. In first day ticket sales, advanced ticket sales, it broke the record by eight times. It sold eight times as many tickets as Hunger Games day one. Unbelievable. This movie is going to it's going to be like 350 million dollar domestic opening. It's probably going to be a, a billion worldwide on opening weekend. I want to not be surprised. This is going to be 2 billion total by the end at least. It might even hit 3 billion. It might beat Avatar. It's possible. It's it's going to be huge. I I haven't, I haven't seen hype for a movie like this in forever, I don't think. And I, I remember The Phantom Menace, and I remember I do remember how hype people were, but it wasn't like this. It was not even close to like this. Oh my god, who wants to call in and talk about that shit right now? Call in at the Level Up Show, spelled exactly how it sounds. No spaces, there's the banner if you need it. But I have read the books Beyond Return of the Jedi and the New Order series. Luke does become a bad guy. Yes, yes, I've heard that before. There's a possibility that he could be bad in this, we'll see. They're not showing him. They're, there's something special going on with Luke. Either he's going to have a big badass reveal or he's the villain. I don't know. It's hard to say. Let's take this call from Derek. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I know, I know, man. We're going to make it through this, though. Oh, we have to wait until December, though. I know, it's just, it's too... Why, why is this the final trailer? Why are they releasing the final trailer two months ahead of time? That's just too much. Way too much of a wait. I can't handle that. I don't know, but we have a trailer. It's, yeah, but I want another trailer. I need one more trailer, like, in a month. And that'll be enough to tide me over. Mm. 
And as much as I love that they're barely telling us anything, like, we don't know shit about this movie, unless you've been, like, looking for spoilers. We know nothing about this movie and what is going on. Like, don't tell me anything. It's, like, I don't know spoilers either. I'm just saying, like, it's, a, it's almost too little. Like, I need a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm not going to see it. I'm just saying, like, I would like, in, like, a month's time, I would really like a little bit more. I don't know. I want to forget about it and then go right in there and just be like, oh, my God. Uh, oh, I think no matter what, that's going to happen, Derek. Well, it's Star Wars without George Lucas, so. Yeah, I know, right? It's that... I know. It's kind of just like this weird paradise a bit. <laughs> uh, do you think J.J. Abrams is going to do a great job with this? Oh, yeah. He's going to do a great job. I remember, like, one time seeing The Daily Show with him and uh, Jon Stewart doing an interview. He knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Like, he describes Star Wars as a spaghetti western. It was like, you're, you're understanding this. You know, you know what's going on. You respect this property. And that's the thing, is you can tell from the trailers and all the behind-the-scenes stuff that there's a lot of respect going on here. Not just from J.J. Abrams, but from the entire crew, the entire cast. Everybody just knows how monumental this is and what they are involved in. It's just, I, it's really touching. I know. Did you see the uh, Instagram videos for Daisy Ridley and John Boyega? No, I did not. I oh, did not man, they're Instagram. so good. They're only like five seconds long each, but it's their reactions to watching the trailer. Because you have to remember that these these people these that are acting in the movie, they, they're they acting against green screen or crazy effects and stuff like this. They don't know what the final product looks like until they see the movie or they see the trailer. So these two are watch the two main stars of the movie are watching the trailer and they're just... Daisy Ridley's crying. John Moyega is just having a nerdgasm. It's it's really funny to watch. Um, oh my god! You Dude, should watch them. Check them out. Look at IGN oh, no. has them on their front page somewhere. You can find them. I yeah. did not know that. I did not know that. I thought they would like have advanced screenings and all that stuff. Except, well, I'm, I'm not sure for trailers. I'm but. sure they've seen portions of the film. I would imagine. But, I mean, we're still two months away. I know that, uh, what's his name? The guy who does all the artwork for the posters. I know he saw, like, half of the movie. Lucky. Yeah, and he said, I mean, take this with a grain of salt, of course, but he said it's the best Star Wars movie. Let's just hope, especially after we got burned after the prequel series. Yeah. Uh, did you like the prequel series at all? I did when I was little, and then I watched it again, it was just like, ugh. Yeah, I, I like, like the third one. I, I think Revenge of the Sith is pretty good. Yeah, the third one had its moments. Yeah. Especially with that robot with four arms. He, he was cool. He was cool. Yeah, Grievous. Yeah, Grievous was pretty cool. I, and there was a lot of epicness and, and finality to that, that final battle. You know, that, there, that was pretty cool. It was a little yeah, bit was. over the top and ridiculous, but it also was, was cool at the same time. Well, I mean, we're going 88 parsecs and... On the freaking Falcon. <laughs> yes. Right. I, what I'm most curious about is how J.J. Abrams is going to handle lightsaber battles. Because I, I, I want to see lightsaber battles done right. The, like, the correct choreography. I, I don't want to see it look... I, I want it to look cool, but I also don't want to look like it's a dance. You know what I mean? It shouldn't look like this this acrobatic dance. It should look like these two people are trying to kill each other, but at the same time, it should be framed in such a way that it's just mind-blowingly awesome. Well, I have faith in Abrams, again, because also from John Sir, he's like, well, I kind of want it to be more like a samurai sort of fight. That is good news. I like that. Yeah, so I'm hoping that there's no, like, oh, look, I'm hopping on a tree while you use your force push to... Hit me with a rock. Yeah. There needs to be a weight to it, and there also needs to be a sense of fear, knowing that, like, if this thing even touches you, like, you are going to, like, lose a limb or be gashed terribly. Like, I want I want to feel like they are dodging death here, you know what I mean? Like, every swing is a potential death, and they need to be, like, really going at each other. It can't be like this, oh, I'm going to swing above your head, and I'm going to swing <laughs> underneath you as you jump, and it's clearly obvious that this dance is going on. It needs to feel like they're going for it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a hard t a hard part that Lucas has had in the films. Like, with the music going, it's just like, okay, you're doing the ballet. 
with your yeah. sword, so. I, mean, I understand why. It's because it looks cool, right? To have this crazy acrobatic thing going on. But they, I feel like they can blend both. I feel like there's a balance there that they can achieve. Yeah, well, that's kind of the way cinema is also heading as well. I mean, we want more humanity. We don't want... Yes, right. And I do feel like there already is this this human element here. I, I, I definitely feel connected to the characters, and I haven't even seen the movie yet. So, that's good yeah. news. Yeah, now all we have to wonder is what the heck is Mark... Oh, God, sorry, sorry. Hamill. Mark, Mark Hamill doing what is he doing i mean I, can we assume that the guy with the robotic arm touching r2d2 can we assume that that is luke i feel like we can right i don't think it is you don't think so you feel like it's a red I herring i feel as though it is a red herring okay i think this is my speculation i could be wrong but i think luke's just gonna be that yoda figure now where he has all that power it's possible but Unlike Maybe the they other. just try and you know in a parallel the original series in a way. Yeah, I mean it's good to have a parallel, especially with themes and everything. Yeah. But God. I know, man. God I is... know. I'm with you. The countdown begins. We're almost there. Two months. I even have my tickets pre-ordered. I'm ready to go, dude. Yep, I've got my tickets too. I'm not going until Tuesday though, the week after. So that, that sucks. Oh, but... I got I got opening night. You got opening night, that's awesome. I, I wanted nice. to get perfect seats, and I, I wasn't going to be able to get perfect seats if I went over the weekend. I was looking at reserved seating and stuff like that, and none of the seats were good enough for me, so I waited until Tuesday. And I, I, I talked about this with the guys. Like, I don't know what I want to do the Sunday bef of that weekend because I m am very, very nervous of being spoiled uh, on this show by people. Um, so if we do a show that weekend, we're like turning comments off. We're not taking calls. Probably I will just do a, a, like a straightforward talk show podcast and probably not acknowledge the chat too much. At least I won't. Dean and Mike, I know, will see the movie before Sunday, but I won't. So so you're going to take up the close my eyes, put uh, my fingers in my ear. La, 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 100%. Defense. I will be tremendously disappointed if I get spoiled on this movie. Don't worry, don't worry. The mods have your back and we'll boosh anybody. I know, I know you guys will be on just total tro troll watch that night for sure. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm excited. Thanks for calling in, Derek. You're welcome. See you around, Drew. Level up. Level up. Another great call from Derek there. Thank you for calling in, Derek. All right. Let's see, what do we got? It will be the Final Fantasy VII remake announcement all over again, says uh, Strife Girl. It's true. I will flip shit. It'll happen. We still got 22 people in the room. Share the show, guys, and follow the show. We haven't had one follow yet tonight. Follow the show. Hit that heart button or follow button. I'll give you a shout out if you are new. I don't think we have anybody new. That's the problem. We get a lot of new people on PlayStation, but we don't get new people when we do on PC. So, But it's all good. At least you guys are seeing the higher quality stuff. I'm happy about that. Let's move on to another trailer. Another... Star Wars trailer, actually. I was in love with this. I hope you guys haven't seen it yet, because you're going to love it. Rated T for Teen. He looks so sad. <laughs> I love it. I love the nostalgia. This is the best. Ah, he threw the chair through the window. So good. Not actual gameplay, guys. Pre-order today. Sony is going to kill it this holiday season with that commercial. If they can get that minute on television at the right time walking dead and get 30 second versions during every football game they're gonna kill it this holiday season they will freaking kill it that is all they need right there what a great commercial 
really one of the best commercials I've seen in a while. Totally playing up nostalgia exactly the way you're supposed to do. Mad Men told us, guys, nostalgia. That is the way to get people on board. People are so sappy for nostalgia. Let's see what we got in the chat room here. The force is strong in this commercial, says so Snell. It's true. It is very true. Bulldog Brad says, love this. Follow or I'll kill the fox. <laughs> got the chat room moving slow here. Feel free to call in, though, guys, on Skype at the Level Up Show. Spelled exactly how it sounds. No spaces. There's the banner if you need it. Or, you know, feed me some comments, questions, concerns in the chat, and we will acknowledge them. So we got here. Guys, we got people. We got some new people. Not new people, but some people that don't chat normally. We got Crazy K. got Funeral Party. Mike Gamer. Oz Halo. Prime Hawk. Ryan 6T. Where are you guys at? Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me your name. Battlefront wasn't as good as I expected. I know it was the beta, but it really felt lacking in content when perusing the menus. Might switch my pre-order off. Yes, I mean, it doesn't have a single-player campaign, for one. That's already a little disappointing on my behalf. That's why I'm not getting it. But I, the one thing I can say about the Battlefront beta is everything I've heard is that it ran really, really smoothly, especially considering it had 9 million people playing the beta. That is unbelievable. That's a huge-ass beta right there. Miss Mel says, I was surprised by the beta. Mel, tell me why. Why were you surprised by the beta? Or call in right now on Skype at the Level Up Show, spelled exactly how it sounds in their spaces. If you're on live from PlayStation, like five of you are right now, uh, you're watching a lower quality version of our stream. Go to the new PS4 Twitch app. It just released. It's on the PlayStation Store if you're in the Americas. Go on there, download that Twitch app, open it up, sync it up with your account, and search for the Level Up Show. You'll find us, and you will see a much higher quality version of the stream. Video, audio, chats, all better on there. See Luke slash Vader run, says Miss Mel. It's so weird watching the videos and just seeing Vader and Luke running around on the map. And now we know Leia as well. Leia, Han, Palpatine, all going to be on the map just running around crazily. There was no campaign in previous, so I have no idea why anyone is surprised. I don't know if anybody is surprised, but disappointed. Definitely disappointed. Miss Mel, you didn't know. Oh, you're in Europe, aren't you? Miss Mel, you can't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't watch the PS4 Twitch app version because you are in, I think, Britain, right? I'm not a big Battlefront fan, so not a day one buy for him. Unless you have an at, -AT says uh says Mike. I'm not sure what... Oh, I, I understand now. I understand. Went over my head for a second. But I found it. It's all good. Dustin, next gen, maybe they would change? Question uh, mark. Yeah, I think it's disappointing. I just think that it would be amazing to have a single player campaign of that graphical quality. Probably even better since it would have focus on, you know, these set pieces and whatnot as opposed to a multiplayer arena or, or map where they don't have that, that graphical focus. So I, I would have been blown away by a story campaign. Now, the design isn't made to fit a First person, first person shooter, single player. Then don't do first person shooter. Do third person shooter. And have the multiplayer be first person. They could have made it work. They just didn't want to. Brad, are you even old enough to have played the originals? Says Mike. I, I was old enough, but I never played them. I was never interested. I played multiple Star Wars games, but those were not them. The one that I remember the most is Shadow of the Empire on Nintendo 64 with, God, what was his name? What the hell was that character's name? Oh, man. Somebody help me out here. Shadow of the Empire for the N64. What was the name of the, of the character in that? Going, drawing a blank on it. Strife Girl says, are you an arcade fan, Drew? I was. I used to play arcade a lot, but I haven't in a long time. Depends on what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about Dissidia Final Fantasy. It looks really cool, but uh, I'm going to wait for the PS4 version. I would hope the eventual PS4 version. I mean the set design and overall game design. It wouldn't fit right. That's why you change it for the single player. Uh, every other game does that. There's no game that has a multiplayer that's identical to the single player in, in mechanics and, and all that kind of stuff. They, they, they would tweak it for the, for the single player. It'd be, it would play a little bit differently. I sh I'm sure they could make it work if they wanted to. They just decided that they didn't need to. They they 
they will sell plenty of copies with a multiplayer only mode. I just think it's kind of disappointing to have a single player multiplayer only game. A $60, I should say. $60 single player, uh, multiplayer only game. If I can be Han, I might get it. I love Han. Brad, it was just announced actually. You will be able to play as Han, Leia, Palpatine, Luke, or Vader. It looks pretty cool. Hopefully we will have it on PS4. Yeah, I, I hope this idea comes to PS4 because I think it would sell really well and I think I think people would really enjoy it. It's kind of like Smash Brothers for, for Final Fantasy. I played the PSP one, Mike, says uh, Brad, as far as Battlefront goes. I'm going to move on to another trailer since we're not getting any calls. Check it out, guys. Someone once said that home is where the heart is. Holy shit! Well, that dickhead never had to grow up in Dilford, Ohio. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it froze for a second there. Dennis Leary. Come with me, if you want to live. <laughs> Why won't I pass out? They ripped off my arm. That was my bowling arm. Oh, fuck this. This looks oh, pretty dumb already. I almost forgot. The thing that started all this madness in the first place? Shit. Aliens? Holy fucking brains. Wow, this looks bad. the end of the freaking world i guess there's just one thing to do god this looks Damn, warm a bodies man. level of Ooh, bed there it is what do they want we don't know so why did they come that's just the rephrasing of the question you just asked how when we just work together and we can save our shitty town not this motherfucker what am I watching right now? At this point, fuck it, right? What, what, what? I feel very uncomfortable saying this, but um, we may have to breed. Is he looking at me? Not feeling it. Double tap this movie in the ass. <laughs> says Buzzfield Scab. Double tap this movie in the ass. Miss Mel says my eyes. Yes, that looked pretty bad. That looked pretty terrible. As I said, I don't watch these trailers. I just look for the most recent movie trailers and video game trailers, and I find one that might be worth watching. So, yes. Uh, Mike, no, Brad did not recommend that, but I'm, I understand the, the thoughts. <laughs> that looked bad. That looked really, really bad. <laughs> Brad, shut up, Mike. <laughs> oh, man. What? Nobody wants to be pa Emperor Palpatine? Emperor Palpatine, I, I think, would be a pretty cool character to play, as in Battlefront. I agree. Drew, have you seen the Pray for the Gods trailer? I have not. I don't have that on my list tonight, unfortunately. But if we wrap up early, and I have some time left, maybe I'll do a quick YouTube search on that. Don't drop something. Don't drop uh, Dakis? I, I don't know what your name is. But... Doesn't matter what your name is. You're watching a live from PlayStation. What you should be doing, the, the theme of the night right now, don't drop, is to download the new PS4 Twitch app, get on there, sync up your account, search for the Level Up show, and watch this show in much higher quality video, audio, and chat. So do that right now, don't drop. Brad, that was a terrible trailer. <laughs> Are we talking about the one I just showed or the one Brad recommended in the past? Either way, they were, they were both terrible. <laughs> that one especially though that was a bad trailer not one of those jokes landed they all missed all right calling on skype guys at the level up show spelled exactly how it sounds no spaces banner is right there if you need it call in right now and don't forget to follow the show guys hit that heart button Live from PlayStation, if you're one of the three. But better yet, go on twitch.tv slash the level up show or on the PS4 Twitch app and hit that follow button and I will shout you out, of course, if you're new. We got uh, 27 people now. We're gradually climbing up, climbing up the uh, 
the numbers here. E I don't know, Mike, what you're talking about. I'll have to look at that comment later. Here we go, Brad again. Third call of the night from Bradley. Hello. Screw you guys. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Yeah, Will you agree, though, that that trailer was pretty terrible? That was shit. That was a shit Robert trailer. Crunch. That was like, I was cringing, man. That was I bad. I was like, it was, literally, I get this feeling it was so bad that it might be funny. It's so bad, like, have you got I don't know. See, I feel like the opposite. I feel like you have a so bad it's good. This feels like it, it doesn't, it goes beyond that. It goes to so bad it's good, and then it goes further to just so bad it's, it's horrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I started being, oh, so bad it's good, but then eventually, you know, I just chuck out tons of these puns and stuff. I'm like, no, no, no. You know no. what I want to talk about? Mike, did you see Goosebumps yet? <laughs> I think he said he was going to go see with Danny. I'm very curious if, if he actually enjoyed it. But I, I, I think he would have talked about it already if he saw it. Or maybe he's too scared to say that it was terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, people want to talk about Fallout 4. Yes. Talk about Fallout 4, Brad. I know you're really excited about it, right? I can't wait. It's like 18 days. Uh, Is it only 18 days now? Well, for me anyway, because it's like 3 a.m. in it. That's crazy. For, for America, I think it's about uh, 19, but for me it's 18 because I'm... I'm trying to remember, were you on the stream when we watched the new commercial, the live action yes. one? Yes. What, what did you think of that? I don't think I saw your thoughts on it. I loved it. You think it's good? Okay. I think I, I think live action trailers are probably the best ones that, that they have. And I just think, even like, I don't care what people say if it's bad, I just think Fallout 4, day one, brilliant. 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 But I can't wait. It's good. I just can't wait. Ugh. I know, man. Uh, I'm kind of excited, too, just because I don't really have anything else to play. I I'm, I'm in this bizarre mode right now because I was so busy with Metal Gear for, like, weeks, and now I don't necessarily have anything that I I'm dying to play. Um, I have Super Meat Boy, and I have a few other things that I could play, but there's nothing I'm dying to play, except for Life is Strange, Season 1, when it comes out, and Fallout 4. So, uh, yeah, th those are what I'm looking forward to right now. That's why I bought Mad Max because I got I, I got bored of Destiny because I was I was like doing the same thing over and over again so I got I stopped playing that Lego Dimensions I got characters but you need all the characters to play the game which I don't know I don't know all the stuff you need to do anyway like all the gold things I, I can for the minute so I'm like what now oh, Mad Max because it was cheaper. Quick question: Did you know that you're referred to as the Austin Powers guy? No. It's true. Am I? You are. You are the Wait. Austin Powers guy. Really? Yep. Who said, who said that? It just happened. <laughs> Derek Wait, said it. That? Really? Wait, wait, wait. Derek says the season is now complete. Buy it. But can I get it as a bundle at a cheap price, Derek, is the question. I want a That's cheap awesome. bundled price for all five episodes. I will spend... I'll spend 20 to 30 bucks on it. If I can get it right now for 20 to 30 bucks, I will, I will get Life is Strange. Let me know. Miss Mel says, Super Meat Boy, I do not want to see that little red bastard for a long time. Have you played Super Meat Boy, Brad? It's very frustrating. It is. It is very frustrating, but I feel like that's kind of the point. Do you know there's an... I think, I think it's in the Rayman Legends. Yeah, Rayman I Legends, yeah. An Easter egg of Super Meat Boy. Wait, really? I think so. I mean, like, when I, when I was playing the game, I found this little red cube in a, in a, in a cage. It's like... What's this? Looked up, part of Super Meat Boy. Huh. That's pretty cool if they did that. Nice little nod there. Mm, but yeah. Rayman I'd Legends is awesome. I, I was literally, I was playing it, and then also my, my phone was, and literally he almost burst my eardrums. He was screaming so loud. Mm -hmm, really? Like, you goddamn game! Go! Ah! Oh, crap, and I was like, I'll, I'll piss myself. Mm -hmm. it, but it's, it's very frustrating. Yeah, Super Meat Boy is a game that I would never stream. That's not the type of game I want to stream. I feel like it would be frustrating to watch and to, to stream. I, I don't think that's the right kind of game. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm I wrong. If anybody wants to see me stream Super Meat Boy, let me know. But I'll this, uh, Rage, this Thursday, I'm not sure what I'm going to stream tomorrow. I, I could do Ori in the Blind Forest. I could do Fallout New Vegas. I could do Super Meat Boy. I'm not sure. 
I want to see you rage, Drew. I want to see you rage at it. You want to see me rage? Yes. I don't rage too often when I'm playing games. There's only been a few times that I've raged. You will and rage I haven't even at... raged. I've just been frustrated. You will rage at this. You will. Because you will. You will. I don't rage at the games, but I'm like... Super Meat Boy got my blood boiled. Blood boiling. I... I uh, Mike says one. I should do Super Meat Boy. Do it. Do it. Drew is too nice for Super, Me Super Meat Boy, says Puss. People love watching people fail, says Miss Mel. Puss says Drew can't rage. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm playing Super Meat Boy. I don't know. I, I don't know yet. I'll decide tomorrow. I'm not committing to that yet. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, Brad. Thanks for calling in, man. Let's move to another trailer. <laughs> By the way, your video's like... been frozen for like two minutes. My ass? Yeah. You've just been paused on a goofy face. You're goofy looking. Okay. Okay. Well, level up. <laughs> See you later, man. Level up. <laughs> level up. All right. Back to the trailers. Next up. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. I forget. In the meantime, what's going on in the chat? So uh, October 21st, Hoverboard, new Nike shoes, and Joel's 19 should come out. True story, but they're not. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. We out here gangbanging like it's 91. You feel me? This is a game I need to finish. Maybe I should stream this tomorrow. I still haven't finished the story mode. Gangster. King of the castle, OG. The ballers and the boggles care way too much about floss and they love Yeah, we got our first follow of the night from Joe Got a Game. Thank you, Joe Got a Game. Oh, never mind. He followed on PS4. Wrong place. Wrong place to follow, man. Live from PlayStation. Go to twitch.tv slash the level up show or on the PS4 Twitch app. Follow us there. It's much higher quality. Lunatic gangs and no ideas to stop Lamar Davis. Move it! Already out, October 20th. Released yesterday. I need to jump back into that game. That was a good game. Very good. Brad says he loves the DLC. So there you go. Hands on impressions from Bradley. I think it's 19,995 or 24,995 for season pass for Life is Strange. What are we talking yen, Lincoln? Are you from Japan? I'm confused. I had no idea if you are from Japan, Lincoln. In American dollars, in US dollars, do you know what that is, Lincoln? I'm assuming it's 20 to 25 then, which would be fine with me. I would totally get that. If I, if I get Life is Strange, I'm streaming that tomorrow. I need to start that game. I'm excited for that. Hashtag I won the giveaway. It says, I like the new DLC. What What is involved in the new DLC? I, besides Lowriders. I, I, I don't know what it's about. We got our first follow of the night on the new PS4 Twitch app from Bot Novocaine. Thank you, Bot Novocaine. I really appreciate the follow. Yep, five is correct. Five episodes in Life is Strange Season 1. Feel free to call in on Skype, guys, at the Level Up Show. It's about exactly how it sounds. No spaces. Jose Gonzalez. So let's take this call. Jose! Uh, What's going on, man? Life is Strange, I'm sad for you. Wait, what was that? If you don't get Life is Strange, I'm sad for you. I'm getting Life is Strange. I'm just waiting for that bundle. Or are you waiting for that disc-based version? I don't. It doesn't have to be on disc as long as it's a bundled pack for a cheaper price. That's all I just care about. The, just do what I did. Just get the first episode and get the season pass and get the complete season pass, and yet, and you're good to go. How much would that cost me? Total? Yeah, like twenty five bucks. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I might do that then. That's what that was my barrier. I said twenty to thirty bucks, and I will get it. Good. So, I just finished episode five, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it good? It was trippy. In a good way or a bad way? Both. Hmm, okay. Does it set up season two? I don't know. I, don't, I thought they said there wouldn't be a season two. Oh, really? Did they say that? I feel like but, if it's called season one, there has to be a season two. Why would you even call it season one then? I don't know. Hmm. What was your favorite episode? 
Favorite? Wow, that's that's a good question. And no spoilers, says everybody in the chat. <laughs> I'm not, don't worry, I'm not spoiling it, everybody. I'm not. Just wait till Greg plays it. Yeah, Greg should be doing that next Monday. Favorite episode, I have to say about either three or four. Three or four, yeah, I heard three and four were both excellent. So, yeah. Also, thank you to a follow real quick before I forget. We had a, a new follow on our PS4 Twitch app from LJV Man. Thank you for the follow. Keep those follows coming, guys. Watch us on the PS4 Twitch app if you're not. If you're watching live from PlayStation, leave right now. Watch us on the PS4 Twitch app. What are you watching from right now, Jose? My PC. PC. So you're seeing the high quality stream. Yeah. How do you like it, man? I don't know if it's high quality, but it's definitely quality. Nice. It's higher quality than you would get on PS4, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. it was hard to like type stuff on the PS4. I'm like, ah, oh, just watch on a PC. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it'll improve even more in a few weeks once we uh, entirely leave live from PlayStation. But for now, uh, yeah, it's, it's, at least it's better. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're improving. So are there any, so is there any news on the Fallout 4 season pass besides the fact that it's $30? Uh, yes, that, that's the only news we have. They 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 announced that there will be a season pass, but they didn't at all announce what would be in the season pass. They just know that they want to do one. So, so it's like they want people to buy a season pass, so they don't know what's in it. That makes no sense. I I mean, it it makes sense in a business sense that like yeah, of course we're gonna do a season pass. Why wouldn't we? But at the same time, it's like you didn't at all think yet what you were gonna put in it. That's kind of weird. Maybe you should have done that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's... Uh, they have to have at least some knowledge of what the DLC will eventually be. You think if they finished the game, what, a few, what, a month or two ago? Yeah, supposedly it's finished, right? They finished the game. They've been working on it for years now. Yeah, so if it's finished, you'd have some clues to what the what the season pass is. I mean, you awesome. would think. You would think, Jose, but I, I guess not. Or they're but just it's, keeping it close to the chest I mean, right now. They don't want to spoil what... Like, what will happen in the game, so that's probably why they're not doing it. Yeah, maybe. That could be totally it, or they just don't want to build expectations early. They would they, they, they have a plan, I, I would assume, to how they want to release this information at the right moments to keep the hype train rolling. So uh, maybe this is just all a part of the plan for them. But instead of waiting a week, I'm getting my copy on release date. It's just costing me another $13 more. Damn, oh. Amazon taxes. In Amazon taxes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be there day one, too, with Fallout 4. I, I, that's my current feeling, I, I think. Because, yes, picking it from up, up, up from GameStop, I'd have to wait anyway. Mm, gotcha. Gotcha. Anything else you want to talk about tonight, Jose? Not really. All right, man. Well, thanks for calling in. All right. Level up. Level up. All right. Let's go back to the chat before we go to a trailer here. We got 20 minutes left in the show. Don't forget to keep that follow button. Keep hitting it. I'm losing my breath here. I need a drink, but I don't have any down here. I forgot to get a drink tonight. We had uh, a follow from LJV Man, Bot Novakine, and Joe Got a Game followed us on the network. If you're still watching, make sure to follow us on the Level Up Show. That is the right channel to follow on. Guitar Freak says, Awesome, Drew switched to PC. That is true. We are now higher quality for everybody, especially if you have that PS4 Twitch app. What else is going on in the chat? What's going on, guys? What do you want to talk about? Feed me questions, comments, and concerns. In the meantime, I think I'll move on to another trailer to let some stuff fill out here. Why do you think there are so many, so few games with female protagonists? It's still, from a business perspective, is not the smart route to go. Studies and statistics show that more gamers buy games with male main characters, male characters on the on the cover art. That's the way it is currently. But that being said, that could easily change if we keep pushing awesome female protagonist, I think that's going to change. Like Ellie. You know, keep keep having characters like Ellie, and that tune will definitely change. All right. Next trailer. Let's check it out here. I think we're back to movies, I think. About to find out. Pirate of Games Week! We're going to be talking about this this Sunday, guys. Speculation, discussion... I can't read that.
I don't speak French. What do we got here? We got Project Zero, Xenoblade Chronicles, Super Mario Maker, I think that was. Black Ops 3, Guitar Hero Live. Uh, Homefront Revolution, The War of Mine, Uncharted 4 Thieves and Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation VR, Dark Souls 3, Let's Sing, is that different than Just Dance? I guess so. Halo 5 Guardians, Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think that's Quantum Break maybe over there. A lot to look forward to. Oh, still got more, Lego Dimensions, Lego Avengers. Total War Warhammer. Battlefront, nice. FIFA 16. Garden Warfare 2. RZ and the Warriors of Legend. Okay, not sure what that is. A lot of games. Syndicate, of course. Rainbow Six Siege. Just Dance. Mankind. Oh, Final Fantasy 15. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. I'm so excited for Final Fantasy 15. Give me some good stuff, please. Nice. I'm excited for it. Are you guys excited for Paris Games Week? Next week, we're going to be speculating this Sunday. You guys will be able to call in, of course, and present your theories and uh, predictions, or you can right now. Call in on Skype at the Level Up Show, spell it exactly how it sounds, no spaces, that we could talk Paris Games Week and what you think is going to happen with PS4, Xbox One, or the Wii U. All right, let's go back to the chat room in the meantime, see if anybody had anything to say about that. Another follow from Carl KB. Thank you for the follow, Carl. Really appreciate it. All these French words are pretty damn close to the English ones. History, DayG's video game, video games... This is going to be big, says Strife Girl. Uh, I know she's excited for Final Fantasy XV. Nier as well, yeah. Supposedly Platinum, Platinum Games is very active in Nier. I did not know that. Why was Mario touching up Pikachu? I did not see that. Interesting. You know what else is going to be by? <laughs> uh, besides Greg? I want some news on that Beyond Two Souls remaster. I'm pretty sure that's confirmed, uh, Jose, that we'll be getting news on Beyond Two Souls slash Heavy Rain remaster. I'm looking forward to that as well, because Beyond Two Souls was a game I wasn't willing to commit to on PS3 and buy, but at this point I think I would probably get it on PS4 and try it out. Especially if it's like 30 bucks. Although it'll probably be 60 for both of them. I want to see more about Dreams. You will definitely be getting that Funeral Party. I'm pretty sure that's confirmed from Media Molecule. We're going to learn what the hell it is and why does it look like nightmares and not dreams. I'm really excited for that, to find out what is the nature of the creation tools and, and what can we do with this game. Is it truly a game or is it more of, a, of an art program? Is it more like paintbrush or can we actually make levels that you can play, walk through, third person, side scrolling? What, what is going on there? I'm very, very curious. More about Doom. That's an interesting question. Doom. We haven't heard about that since E3. With the Bethesda conference. I don't know. I, I honestly don't think we will. I think that they're going to fall focus on Fallout now for the foreseeable future in, until, until the DLC comes out and, and stuff like that. They don't need to focus on Doom for a while. Just push that aside. Keep it all about Fallout for now. I think that's the smart way to go. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're getting any calls on Skype, so I'll probably move on to another trailer. Drew, I got the time machine from BTTF on my Rocket League. There's, It's crazy how many Back to the Future references have been in video games recently. It's unbelievable how much, like, I didn't realize how far that spread. That so many pop culture references and and social media and video games and movies and websites, it's just, it's all over the place. It's crazy. Drew, I got the time machine. Yes, the DeLorean, as Mike says. It is called the DeLorean. What about any racing games like Gran Turismo 7? I think Gran Turismo 7 is more likely to debut at PlayStation Experience or later. I don't think Paris Games Week is where that happens. I think it's either PlayStation Experience or E3. Those are like the only two I think that could happen at. Same with God of War. It's either PlayStation Experience or E3. Do you think they are making a Destiny 2? I do. I, I definitely think they're making Destiny 2. They're, they're padding out Destiny 1 right now with all the DLC. I think 
I would not be surprised if Destiny 2 is a holiday 2016 release. That might seem a little early, but I, I totally could see it happening. And I think it'll be so much better than Destiny 1. Uh, we can already see with the Taken King that it's kind of what Destiny 1 was supposed to be. Destiny 2 is just going to be an improvement on, improvement on that, the evolution of the series. And it might cause me to jump back in, actually. Hope not for Destiny 2. Yes, they are, and I'm happy. Yeah, I think that uh, we're all pushing for, uh, Des for Destiny 2. Mike is guessing September 2016. I remember when they, not they, but that original document leaked that kind of forecasted the entire Destiny future. They were talking about like one every other year, I think, right? So uh, it was like Destiny, DLC, Destiny, DLC. So I, I feel like if they're sticking with that document, with that forecast, it makes sense for holiday or September 2016 to be Destiny 2. Everyone should read the Ko uh, Ko uh, what is that? Kotaku article on Destiny from the other day. Very good. I heard very good things about that, Mike. Uh, yeah, I would like to read that as well. Strife Girl says, I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to have a huge update next week. I think we will get something on Kingdom Hearts, but I don't think we will get a lot. I think they will save Kingdom Hearts 3 blowout for, uh, what's it called? D23 Expo for the, 20, the Japan version of that, whatever you want to call it. They have their very own version of D23, and that's probably where you're going to hear a lot on Kingdom Hearts 3. What if there's a big conspiracy to release all of the games around the holidays? Dun, dun, dun. I feel like that's always a failure, and that's why you see so many games that get delayed into the next year, is because right when the holidays come around, they all realize, shit, we're releasing a week after Call of Duty, a week before Battlefront, a week after Battle whatever field. What, it doesn't matter. It, it it comes to the realization that we're going to get eaten alive. We're going to get swallowed up. Let's wait until next year. All right, I, I'm getting lightheaded. I'm talking too much. I need to play another trailer and take a break here. Next up. I can see things that no one else can. Fatal Frame for the Wii U. Family died. Images of death that only I could see. I could feel them surrounding me. And since then, death has been by my side. Excuse me. Hello? You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Marikami. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? This is a camera obscura. It will let you see the unseen. Close your eyes, think back to the day. I know I remember you forever and ever. Jose, I think you are almost backwards on that. <laughs> Battlefront is going to be massive, man. It's going to be massive. Oh shit, I have the thing up on the PS4, the wrong one. Not that, that many people are watching over there. Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater, I think is what it said. I don't really play my Wii U that much, so I'm not really interested in that. I don't think I would be interested in it anyway, so. But I do know that a lot of people are. I know that that's a pretty popular series among horror fans, so. Something to look forward to on the Wii U, which is always good, right? Wii U needs its games too. I have no idea what's going on right now. Looks like you use your gamepad to take photos. I think that's exactly the case. Fatal Frame is all about like seeing, th seeing things through the camera. Taking pictures and seeing things that wouldn't normally be there. Stuff like that, I think. I think you underestimate the Star Wars hype of the 
of the world, says Mike. I, I agree completely. Battlefront is going to be huge because it's being so advertised with the PS4. I mean, did we see that advertisement earlier? The one that is like a minute long and totally builds on nostalgia? That is going to kill it this holiday season for PS4. They're going to sell so many bundles and PS4 is going to... It's going to live this holiday by that. It's going to beat out Halo probably because of that commercial alone, in my opinion. Unless Microsoft has a huge, crazy bundle... Like, it seems like they might. Uh, there's been some Dell offerings we're already seeing for Black Friday. $300 with Fallout 4 and a, an extra controller for 300 bucks. That's pretty crazy. That's going to do really well for Xbox. But PS4 might have an amazing bundle as well. We're going to have to wait and see. Mike says, to each their own, I get it. But the amount of support for that franchise is one that even COD could never attain. Kill it. $8.5 billion. Did anyone see that Fallout 4 Xbox One controller? I did not. I didn't know there was a themed Xbox One controller. That's pretty cool, though. Got eight minutes left in the stream. I do not know if we have any more trailers. Let's find out. If we do, I'm going to play it right now. Do we? Do we? Do we? It does not look like we do. All right. No more trailers. That was the final trailer of the night. So we, we did it. We made it, guys. We watched all of them. All nine. So we can just go straight to the chat now. All right. Brad says, yeah, I want a PS4 one. Color scheme is, color scheme is great, but I hate blunt graphics in my face. In my face. If they make a Doctor Who game, I quit on life. Why is that, Dustin? Are you that against Doctor Who? Does it offend you so? Pray for the gods trailer. You know, we could try to get it done right now, Strife Girl. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to do my best. I do have the browser tab. The one person watching on live from PlayStation won't see it, but was it called Pray for the Gods? Pray for the Gods. Official reveal trailer. Let's watch this. See if I can get it to work here. What link do I need to go to make it work though? Where is it? Oh no, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to guys, I'm sorry. I thought I would be able to get the internet net browser working, but it's on a different tab right now. Unfortunately. Next time though. Next time we will watch it for sure. Let's go back to the comments. It's like watching a low, low budget Farscape. I've never really watched Doctor Who besides one episode, but I thought it was awesome. The one with the, uh, the Weeping Angels. I thought the production budget was just fine. To you, I never watched it, but it has a massive follow fan base and following, so it must be doing something right. It's been on for like, what, 30 something years? So, uh, yeah, it's totally got a uh, following, a very loyal following. Brad says, I'm getting my Lego Doctor Who when it comes out. I think uh, you could see a Doctor Who game if the Lego part does well enough. To each their own, though. To each their own. I think that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. 60 years. Wow, that's unbelievable. 60 years. 50 or 60 years. That's that's insane. That's got to be one of the longest running shows of all time. If you were back on, welcome back to live from PlayStation stream. Don't forget that you can watch a much higher quality stream now that the PS4 has a dedicated Twitch app to the two people watching right now on live from PlayStation. Leave live from PlayStation. Go on the PlayStation store. Download the Twitch app. Sync up your account. Search for the Level Up Show follow us and watch a much higher quality stream. <laughs> LGJV man showing some salts. We're all salty about Doctor Who right now. All right, I think that's going to be it for me for me tonight guys. Thank you to Carl KB, LJV man and Bot Novocaine for the Twitch follows. If you're watching right now on twitchtv show or on the Twitch PS4 app, hit that follow button. 
while we finish off the show here, I will give you a shout out. We're on twitch.tv slash the level up show. We're on youtube.com slash the level up show. Levels spelled LVL. We archive everything and also, uh, you know, subscribe there for exclusive content like Power Up, Dean and Greg's uh, superhero comic book nerdiness show. We're on uh, the level up show.spreadshirt.com if you want level up themed hoodies, t shirts, muscle shirts. Patreon.com slash the level up network if you want to best support the network. Just $1 per month donated there and you get early access to stuff like Power Up. And finally, most importantly, Check out Extra Life. The banner has been scrolling on the top of the screen. It is for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. We're raising money for sick uh, kids throughout the United States. They could have cystic fibrosis. They could have leukemia. They could be injured from a car accident. It doesn't matter. They're staying in the hospital for long periods of time, and so they need entertainment. That's what Extra Life does. It provides those children with gaming entertainment, game consoles, board games, video games. doesn't matter. It's all there. So please go to extralife.org slash participant slash the level up network. Click support me, donate whatever you have the means to. It doesn't matter if it's $1 or $500. It does not matter. Every cent counts. Helps us keep that ball rolling, getting towards that $5,000 goal. We appreciate all of our donators. Uh, we really, really do, especially Conrad and Brian, who have donated uh, $300 and $400, respectively. That's unbelievable. All right, that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for Level Up Quick Play. I'm not sure what I'm going to be playing just yet. It could be Super Meat Boy. It could be Fallout New Vegas. It could be Ori and the Blind Forest. You will find out tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you all then. Until next time, take care. And as always, don't forget to level up. Cell five five. Thank you for watching once again, guys. I'll see you throughout the week, hopefully tomorrow. Until next time, take care, and as always, level up.